Hello, I'm glad you're interested in learning more about Chandrayaan-3, India's third lunar mission. In this video, I will tell you everything you need to know about this ambitious and exciting project. Let's get started. Chandrayaan-3 is a follow-up mission to Chandrayaan-2, which was launched in 2019 but failed to land on the moon due to a glitch in the landing guidance software. Chandrayaan-3 aims to demonstrate India's capability to soft land on the lunar surface and explore the south polar region of the moon with a lander and a rover. The mission consists of two modules, a propulsion module and a lander module. The propulsion module carries the lander from Earth to the moon and acts as a communication relay satellite. The lander module, named Vikram, houses the rover, named Pragyan, inside it. The lander and rover are similar to those of Chandrayaan-2, but with some improvements and modifications. The propulsion module was launched on July 14, 2023, using India's most powerful rocket, the launch vehicle Mark III LVM-3. The launch was successful and the spacecraft entered a highly elliptical orbit around Earth. After several orbit-raising maneuvers, the spacecraft reached the vicinity of the Moon on August 5, 2023, and performed a lunar orbit insertion maneuver to enter a 100km circular polar orbit around the Moon. The next step is to reduce the orbit of the propulsion module to 30 km by 100 km and then separate the lander from it. The lander will then perform a series of braking maneuvers to lower its altitude and velocity and prepare for landing. The landing site is located near the lunar south pole, between two craters named Manzinus C and Simpelius N. This site was chosen because it offers a flat terrain with good visibility and communication with Earth. It is also expected to have higher concentrations of water ice and other minerals than other regions of the Moon. The landing is scheduled for August 23, 2023, at 12.17 Coordinated Universal Time, 1747 IST. The lander will use various sensors and thrusters to guide itself to a safe landing spot. It will also communicate with the Chandrayaan-2 orbiter, which is still operational in lunar orbit, as a backup link. If everything goes well, the lander will touch down softly on the lunar surface and deploy its four legs. It will then release the rover from its belly and activate its scientific instruments. The rover will roll out of the lander and start exploring its surroundings. It will use its cameras, spectrometers, and other sensors to study the lunar soil, rocks, and environment. It will also send back images and data to Earth via the lander and the propulsion module. The rover can travel up to 500 meters from the lander and has a battery life of 14 Earth days, one lunar day. The lander will also conduct some experiments on its own. It will measure the temperature, pressure, seismic activity, plasma density, and magnetic field of the moon. It will also carry a laser retro reflector array LRA, which is a passive device that reflects laser beams from Earth or other spacecraft. This will help in determining the precise position and distance of the lander on the moon. The Chandrayaan-3 mission is expected to last for at least one lunar day, 14 Earth days, but it could be extended if the lander and rover survive the harsh conditions of the lunar night when temperatures drop below minus 150 degrees Celsius. The mission is also expected to provide valuable scientific data and insights into the origin and evolution of the moon, as well as its potential for future exploration and utilization. Chandrayaan-3 is not only a technological achievement for India, but also a source of pride and inspiration for millions of Indians and people around the world. It is a testament to India's space prowess and vision, as well as its spirit of resilience and innovation. Chandrayaan-3 is also a stepping stone towards ISRO's future interplanetary missions, such as Gaganyaan, India's first human spaceflight program, Aditya L-1, India's first solar research mission, and Shukrayaan-1, India's first Venus orbiter. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about Chandrayaan-3. If you did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more videos on space topics. Thank you for watching.